students now i am continuing partial differential equation linear partial differential equation homogeneous partial differential equations there are rules uh, for finding general solution of partial differential equation for non -homo uh, sorry homogeneous linear partial differential equation with constant coefficients what is the uh, rule for finding complete solution cf plus pn so there are different rules for finding pi it is complete solution so finding pi there are some methods so some of the methods i have already discussed in the previous class now just i am discussing uh, next formula pi equals to pi what f d d dash function of x y here f d d dash z is equals to f x y is our partial differential equation okay if this then pi equals to this now on the format of this f d dash also uh, for uh, uh, format of this f x y we are having some different type of formulas okay so just in the previous class i have already discussed this is equals to if f this is a standard form phi ax plus by so we are having formula how if function of ax plus by function of ax plus by fxy equals to right hand side then this is equals to what if here f a a a b if a b equal not zero then this is equals to what 1 upon f a b integration if this is n th degree equation if this is n th degree okay n th degree polynomial fd at the nth degree polynomial or nth order or nth order and this is nth degree then this how many times phi d dv or n where well, v equals to what v equals to ax plus by completely clear this is this all our formula clear so remember it if this is nth degree nth order partial differential equation and then this formula is used when f a b equal to not 0 if f a b equals to 0 if f a b equals to 0 if a b equals to 0 then 
pi equals to what pi equals to pi equals to just note down this formula how can we write because f a b equals to 0 that means it's having b d minus a d dash as a factor as a factor maybe one factor two factor three factor is a multiple so suppose nth multiple if nth multiple then here phi ax plus by is equals to what x to the power n upon b power n n factorial as it is phi ax plus by this is corresponding to the factor it may be n factor if having n factor then this is the formula if suppose there are one factor is this different factor and this is n minus 1 factor then for a only for this factor you have to apply this formula and for this factor you have to apply another formula whichever will be suitable so this is general method okay for f a b equal to not 0 and f a b equal to 0 so remember it we will use this formula now and also there is a formula that is this formula is very very important another formula very general formula what 1 upon not for this f a b f a b f not a b etc this is our one technique one technique and general formula or pi okay for pi so pi equals to or we have to factorize first this okay corresponding to the factor 1 upon suppose d minus m d dash this is our factor this is our function f x y okay corresponding a factor 1 upon d minus m d dash f x y this is equals to for finding particular integral this is general method general formula 1 upon this factor d minus m d dash f x y is equals to integration of is equals to integration of f of x as it is and in place of y we write c minus mx dx clear f x comma in place of y we have to write c minus mx m is this and x c c is a constant now we will integrate it c m x m con m and c are the constant we will integrate with respect to x and where where C tending to y plus mx. C tending to y plus mx. That is y equals to c minus mx. That is c equals to y plus mx. C tending to c tending to y plus mx. C tending to c tending to y plus mx. That means after integrating 
in place of C, we will write y plus mx. Clear? Then we can get the value of this. Okay? Corresponding to this factor, we can find by this. This means in this function, in place of y, we have to write c minus mx, then we will integrate it with respect to x, and finally c is replaced by y plus mx. M is this. Okay? This is two, we have two formula. Note down. Okay? So very very important formula by using this formula and adds and other formula you know uh, I have already discussed in the previous class. So now we are trying to solve some questions. Okay. So take first questions. Solve delta j by del x square delta j by del y square. The first formula, the uh, first questions, solution. given del 2 z by del x square minus del 2 z by del y square equals to x minus 1 x minus y this is given ok so these are formula so remember it Whenever f a b equal to not zero, then you can apply this. Whenever f a b equals to zero, then you can apply this, and also here. Clear? So this is given equation. This implies d square minus d dash square. d square minus d dash square equals to x minus y. z equals to this. That is f d d dash z equals to x minus fx y where we can write like this d square minus d square where this is this means this d f d d dash means d square minus d dash square and f x y equals to x minus y x minus y to solve this its complete solution is its complete solution is what z equals to C A plus P R for C F its auxiliary equation its auxiliary equation is F M one equals to zero. Was here m here one the rest one so this gives m square minus one equals to zero implies m equals to what plus one and minus one okay plus minus one therefore Therefore, 
we can write CF equals to first function corresponding to distinct roots y plus x and second function y minus x. This is C and particular integral. Particular integral is equals to 1 upon f d d dash f x okay f d, d dash means 1 upon b square minus d dash square f x y means x minus y okay here we can also apply here what rule polynomial rule taking common d square 1 minus d dash by d square take to numerator uh, numerator power minus 1 and we can expand by binomial expansion then we can apply this to x minus y we can get a result also we can use here two three types of methods clear so up to now we are known about formulas for a special type of f f x y what formula may be used here two three methods may be used binomial expansion may be used general method may be used f a b equals to 0 f a b equal to not 0 may be used three types of methods may be applied so here we know about how can we apply binomial expansion method here we are trying just see how we can apply f a b equals to 0 and a b equals to not 0 clear here ax plus by that means a1 b minus 1 a1 square minus 1 square 1 minus 0 so we will get 0 so if 0 then we cannot apply fab here and integrate this is 0 so for 0 there is formula for 0 1 upon b b minus a d dash or n equals to x to the power n by n, n factorial b to the power n function as it is but that is for factor so here we have to factorize it or you can split it in partial fraction for general method it is also required and for if a b equal to 0, a b equal to not 0, it is also required. Because for particular function, for any type of function, for any type of function, we apply general method. Where d minus m d dash, second problem, d minus m d dash is the integration of c, y equal to c minus m x. So here, f a b equal to 0, so we are splitting in factor. So 1 upon a s minus b square. So, A plus B and A minus B, D plus D dash and D minus D dash. We can write it here X minus Y. Clear? Now, this is one factor, this is another factor. In this factor, for this factor, a 1 b minus 1 if 1 minus 1 0 but here if a 1 b minus into minus 1 1 2 not 0 so for this factor we can apply not 0 formula so not 0 formula that is here cm equals to this 
or so now we will use the cf cf equals to what 51 by plus x plus 52 y minus x okay this is cf clear now After this line, pi equals to, we can write, 1 upon d plus 1, d dash, 1 upon d minus, d dash. For this factor, in front, x minus y. Now, 1 upon d plus d dash, here, for this factor, we can apply general formula, also and also f a b equal to not 0 because x plus b y so a 1 b minus 1 not 0 we can use any for formula general formula also f a b equal to not 0 if we consider only this then this is f a b this is not equal to 0 for a d for a d dash minus 1 minus 1 2 2 so we can apply that formula where number of degree degree and fxy equals to phi ax plus by equals to number of degree type of integration phi b dv one time one factor one time one time integration x plus by equals to v so here we can apply that so 1 upon f a b equal to not 0 so only considering this. So here minus 1, minus, minus 1, sorry, 1. Clear? A in plus of D, 1. D dash minus 1. X plus B, this and integration 1 factor, 1 time x minus y, x plus by, that is b, and one time differentiator, where v equals to, where v equals to, what, x minus y, so this is equals to 1 upon d plus d dash, yes, 1 upon 2, d square by 2, d square by 2, and v equals to what, x minus y, so we can write, This is equals to 1 upon d plus d dash 1 by 4, 1 by 4, d square means x minus y square. Now, 1 upon d plus d dash x minus y. Here, a1, this is minus 1, 0. So, what formula here we will apply? We know formula what? 1 upon for f a v equals to 0. That is, b d minus a d dash power n phi x a x plus b y equals to what x power n upon n factorial b power n into phi x plus b y this is our formula this formula can be used here yeah, if b in plus of d we put a and in plus of d dash we put b then this is 0 factor n times so here single factor so this can be written like this 1 by 4 x to the power n means 1 upon 1 factorial b means 1 b means x plus b y b to the power b to the power here b b 1 so 1 power, power n and here a means minus 1 minus minus 1 so a is not required so this x minus y square solved by using this formula clear so this is equals to x by 4 x minus y 
square. This is our PN. Clear? This is our PN. So, we are using formula f a v equal to 0 and f a equal to not 0 by taking, doing factorization. Clear? Yeah? So, this is PN. So, answer is finally, we can write answer of this question. What? So, now uh, for thus, the complete solution of given equation is z equals to cf phi 1 y plus x phi 2 y minus x plus pi x by 4 x minus y squared. Clear? Here main thing is how can we find pi, particular integral. For finding particular integral there are different methods or very general methods 1 upon d minus m d dash d minus m d dash f x y equals to what? Integration of f x in plus of y c minus m x integrate and then put c tending to y plus m x this is and particular method f a v equal to 0 f a v equal to not 0 we can also apply ok so remember this formula and you can use any of that because this particular integral can be find three methods by using this direct method by using f a v equal to 0 f a v equal to not 0 by using binomial theorem expansion so apply the method which is easy so remember it ok so this was the solution of the question this question uh, next question that is dq plus d dash d square d dash dq plus d square d dash minus of d d dash square d d dash square minus d dash cube z equals to, to the power 2x plus y z equals to e to the power 2x plus y plus cos x plus y cos x plus y this is given equation we will solve it. By which methods? We can see that is main thing is finding particular integral. Okay. So, it is uh, uh, we can write this it is uh, for CF or complementary function. It is auxiliary equation its auxiliary equation is what? This is f d d dash. So, in place of dm, in place of d dash 1. So, f m 1 equals to 0. That is m cube minus m square into 1 minus m minus 1 equals to 0 because 1 1 so m m square m cube m cube plus m square minus m this now this cubic can be solved we can see its one root is what 
one. So we can that is what m q minus m square plus m square m q plus m square minus m minus one equals to zero for find solving this. So m square m minus one plus two m square two m square. So here two m square minus m minus one equals to zero. So we can write like this m square where one is root. So M is common. M square minus one. One is root. So M minus one is a factor. So M minus one is a factor. Then M cube minus M square plus M square plus M square. 2m square minus m minus 2m. Okay, so here 2m square minus m. So we have to write 2m m minus 1 plus 2m minus m minus 1 equals to 0 because we are trying to find uh, mac m minus 1 everywhere uh, of the term. So here 2m square 2m upper multiplying 2m square minus 2m plus 2m can say 2m square 2m square. So minus m minus 1. So also m square m minus 1 plus 2m m minus 1 plus here 2m minus m m so m minus 1 equals to 0 so m minus 1 is common then we get m square plus 2m plus 1 equals to 0 that is what m minus 1 m square m plus 1 whole square m plus 1 whole square equals to this is m plus 1 whole square so we get m equals to 1 minus 1 minus 1. So we are getting 3 roots out of which 2 are equal. So therefore CF, how can we write CF? CF equals to, therefore CF equals to for equal roots, first of all y plus x for 1 and not two equal roots phi 2 y minus x plus x phi 2 3 y minus x clear y minus x y minus x clear this is cf by this roots we can write cf like this these two are equal that's why phi 2 y minus x also y minus is phi 3 here x one times so this is cf okay now we will find pi clear just remember this method for finding roots of qv equation okay guess one root and then make factor if one is root then n minus one is factor so make one minus that m minus 1 factor in every terms and comma then also factorize second degree factor then you can get three values so like, like this okay and also pi sorry. and now pi equals to 1 upon f d d dash f x y that is 1 upon f d d dash means this b q plus d square 
d dash minus d d dash square minus d dash q it is equal to x plus y plus cos x plus y this is pn clear now for finding value of this just we divide it separate it first is 1 upon d cube plus d square d dash minus d d dash square minus d dash q it is equal to x plus y this is first part and plus also 1 upon this second part cos x plus y okay d q plus d square d dash minus d d dash square minus d dash q so this is particular integral first plus particular integral second now we are trying to find one by one well clear now we have first part particular integral 1 equals to 1 upon d cube plus d square d dash minus d d dash square minus d dash cube to the power 2x plus y which method can be used for this we know it is our x plus by method if this for it is our x plus by if f a b equals to not 0 then we can apply f a b just put d in plus of d a m is 2 in plus of b d dash put b there is 1 if this is not 0 then just put the value and it is always plus y is as it is ok so what will be the value here yeah. this is equals to 1 upon a cube 2 cube 2 cube plus 2 square into 1 minus 2 1 square minus 1 cube it will equal 2x plus y since f a b equals to not 0 clear just 2 q 8 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 4 minus 3 1 8 9 1 by 9 so this is equals to what it is equal 2x plus y upon 9 first part clear ok so p i 1 the value of this is equals to it is equal to 2x plus y upon 9 so ok now second part Here, pi equals to this. Also, pi two. That is second part. Second part means one upon d q plus d square d dash minus d d dash square minus d dash q cos x plus y this is also function of ax plus y ax plus by ax plus by yes ok so here which method we can use we know if cos x plus by sin x plus by if f a b equal to not 0 then we can also use this type of method but here a 1 b 1 if we put d 1 for d also 1 for d dash then this will be 0 so we cannot apply this method clear so which method we can apply 
फॉर एफ एम इक्व टू जीरो Here we see p p i one plus two is equal to x plus y upon nine. Okay. Now here by factorization. By factorization of this, just we see m minus one and m plus one whole square. That is d minus d dash and d plus d dash square. D plus d dash square. This is the factorization. So we can use d minus d dash and d minus Plus d dash square. This is the factorization. Clear? D plus m minus one, m plus one square. So this is the factorization of this and cos of x plus y. Now one by one factor. If we take just like this, one upon D minus D dash single factor one upon D plus D dash square. First we take this two, this. Then here if we put one plus one two two square, so not zero. So we can use formula integration formula. Also we can use general formula. Also, we can use cos x plus b y rule. Clear? So we can get what we know. Also, formula one upon f d d dash. Very simple formula or integration formula as in like what d d dash cos x plus b y. Is equal to what? Minus whole square minus whole square, na minus a square minus a square. So you can use also it. How? In place of d a square, they are not d a square. So we are using integration formula. Integration formula, not zero. So this is equal to what? One upon d minus d dash. Now one upon a one plus one square. Integration of how many times? Two times. Two times integration of what? Cos v dv. Also dv. Where v equals to what? X plus what? This is the when f of e equals to not zero. So this is equals to what? One upon two square means one by four. One upon d minus d dash. This factor here integration just like see integration of cos sine b. Integration of sine b minus cos b. So minus cos b b means x plus y. So minus minus cos x plus y. Clear? Now here the method when f a b equals to zero. Function of x plus b y. That is the formula. B d minus a d dash power n one by this factor and f uh, function of x plus b y equals to what? X to the power n upon uh, n factorial 
b power n into phi of ax plus b y. This formula we know. This formula we know. So we can apply this formula. B means one. A means also one because minus sign is there. A means also one. B one. Power one single factor. So n equals to one. So we can write this is equals to minus one by four x power one upon one factorial into b means one power one and cos of as it is x plus y. So this is pi two, pi two. That is what Mi minus x by four. Cos x plus y. Okay. Minus x by four, one one. Minus x by four cos x plus y. Pi two. Therefore, therefore pi equals to pi one plus pi two. So pi one this. You will equal two x plus y. 1 by 9 plus here minus x by 4 minus x by 4 cos x plus y. This is our CF and PA. Clear? So we can thus the complete solution. Complete solution is. J equals to C F plus P I. C F means phi one y plus x phi two y minus x x into phi three y minus x plus or you can write here complete P I plus one by nine it will be two x plus y minus x by four cos of x plus y so this is our solution clear so here main thing is what finding pi how can we find particular identity of a differential equation okay so remember all formula and you can solve okay Take another question. That is solution given r plus s minus sixty equals to y cos x. Okay. R plus s minus sixty. R plus s minus sixty y cos x. R plus S minus sixty equals to y cos six. Okay, this is given equation. Now we are trying to solve it. Here, different type of function, any function, because y into cos six, not a fun function of ax plus by, just like that. Not polynomial. That is, we can use binomial theorem, but any function of x. So we can use general method. What is the formula for that? Pi one upon d minus M d dash. This, if this is single factor, corresponding to this factor, we can use what? This is equals to integration of f of x c minus m x d x, and finally c tending to y plus m x. This is our rule. General rule. Okay, this is equal to clear. So we will use this for finding particular integral. Okay, so here given is this. That means what? Del two j by del x square plus del two j by del x del y. Minus six delta two jy 
del y square equals to y cos x. So it can be written as how d square plus d d dash minus 6 d dash square z equals to y cos x. This is what f d d dash z equals to f of x y where f d d dash equals to d square plus d d dash minus 6 d dash square and f x y equals to y cos of x. This is our format of given equation. Okay, it's auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation is for CF for CF. For finding CF, its auxiliary equation is F M one equals to zero. That is what F M one. D means M. That relation is one. So M S square plus M minus six equals to zero. We can factorize it. M S square plus minus 3m plus 2m plus 3m minus 2m minus 2m minus 6 equals to 0 3 minus 2 1m 1m 3 into 2 6 minus 6 m square so here m m plus 3 minus 2 m plus 3 so this is equals to 0 what m plus 3 and m minus 2 equals to 0 so what m equals to minus 3 and 2 are the root distinct roots. Therefore, it is CF. Therefore, CF equals to what? CF equals to function, first function y minus 3x plus second function y plus 2x. This is our CF. Okay. By getting roots. You can write C is equal to this. Simple as this. Now, particular. How can we find particular integral of this function? Okay. Now, particular integral. 1 upon f d d dash y cos of x means fx sorry here this is format f x y okay one upon d the factor a factor is what d factor we can write what d minus 2 d dash d plus 3 d dash we can write like this now its factor its factor by factorization just we are doing factorization here what m plus 3 and m minus 2 so m minus 2 means d minus 2 d dash m plus 3 means d plus 3 d dash so we can write like this. This is our CF. Okay. And FXY means Y cos of X. Now, if we take this or this. Here, because of not AX plus BY function, so this is any function. We have to use this method. So, first as in first stage, just taking one by this, this using 
this formula. First use this formula with this factor and then use this formula with this factor. Okay. So here we can write 1 upon d minus 2 d dash this is this factor 1 upon d plus 3 d dash y cos x ok now first we use this formula here d because our format is like this d minus m d dash that is here d minus minus 3 is the value for m here d minus minus 3 minus 3 is the value for m so use this formula here so pi equals to after this line we can write 1 upon d minus 2 d dash and this is equals to what integration integration function total where in place of x we will write x and in place of y c minus fx so c minus fx m means what m means minus 3 m means minus 3 that is c minus minus 3 means c plus 3x c plus 3x in plus of y into cos of x dx after integrating c tending to y plus mx that is plus minus 3 means y minus 3x after integrating we will replace c by y minus 3x ok now here we can solve it this integration by using d minus 2 d dash this integrate it how can we solve it this is first function this is second function this is first function this is second function by parts so first part first function c plus 3x integration of second function cos x sin x integration of sin first sin x minus of integration integration differentiation of first function 3 0 3 1 3 into integration sin x dx c tending to y minus 3x so we can solve it d minus 2 d dash c plus 3x sin x here integration of sin x cos sin sin minus cos x so plus 3 cos x c tending to y minus 3x sin integration of sin is minus cos minus minus plus cos x 3 now we replace c by y minus 3x so 1 upon d minus 2 d dash in place of c we will write c minus y minus 3x y minus 3x plus 3x sin x plus 3 cos x ok so we will get like this 1 upon d minus d dash of this y sin cancel y sin 
x plus 3 cos x. Clear? y sin x plus 3 cos x. Now, one stress is also remaining. This first stress. Now, again use this formula for this general function. Okay? So, for solving this, after this line, you can write this is equals to what? By using this formula. Using this. This is equals to integration of this is general function in plus of y we have to write c, c minus mx so c minus mx here m 2 minus m minus 2 so m is 2 so c minus 2x c minus mx in plus of y sin x plus 3 cos x x as it is integrate and then here c tending to y plus 2x c tending to y plus mx so c tending to y plus m means 2 Now we have to solve this integral. Okay, the so first integral what? Integration of c minus 2x into sin x dx plus 3 integration of cos x dx c tending to y plus 2x. So here first function, second function, integrate first function c minus 2x second function integration minus uh, sin integration of sin is minus cos minus cos x this is first part minus integration of differentiation of first minus 2 minus 2 integration of this minus cos minus cos x dx plus 3 integration of cos sin sin x okay and c tending to y plus 2x. Clear? Just we are using this formula. This general formula. Okay. Now solve c minus here. c minus 2x minus of cos x minus of c minus 2x cos x minus minus plus minus minus 2 minus minus plus minus minus 2 uh, integration of cos sin cos cos sin so sin x minus minus plus minus minus 2 minus sin integration of sin, cos is sin plus 3 sin x c tending to y plus 2x now in place of c we have to put y plus 2x so here minus c means y plus 2x minus 2x cos x 3 sin x minus 2 sin x plus sin x plus sin x so we are getting like this 2x 2x cancel minus y so minus y cos x plus sin x okay minus y cos x plus sin x this is pi this is pi so this is pi this is cf thus our solution is thus the general Solution is z equals to cf plus pi. Cf means this phi 1 y minus 3x plus phi 2 y plus 2x and this pi minus y cos x minus y cos x plus sin x plus sin x. 
this is our solution okay so very very important formula is this whenever the right hand function fxy is any function not in, uh, as a particular form of any function then you can use this after factorization of fdd dash and maybe splitting in partial fraction and divided in two three parts and you are using this formula corresponding to this factor so you can get pn okay so remember it very very important questions okay now time for questions for your attendance here i will give five six questions to you and you have to solve all the questions i will give also complete hint for all these questions okay so solve first question 4 del to z by del x square solve 4 del to z by del x square minus 4 del to z by del x del y plus del to z by del y square del to z by del y square equals to 16 log x plus 2 y log x plus 2y. This is first question. Clear? Just first of all you have to write all the question. Note down all questions. Okay. This is first question. Now dq minus 7 dd dash square dq minus 7 dd dash square minus 6 d dash minus 7 dd dash square minus 6 d dash cube z equals to sine x plus 2y x plus 2y sin x plus 2y plus e to the power 2x plus y plus e to the power 2x plus y ok second question first of all note down all the questions then I will give hint for all these questions ok here Solve d square minus d d dash third. Solve d square minus d d dash minus two d dash square. Z equals to y minus one. Y minus one. It is over x. Okay, now fourth question fourth. D square minus four D D dash solve. D square minus 4 D D dash plus 4 D dash square 4 D dash square Z equals to it is about 2x plus y it is about 2x plus y 5 D Q minus 3 D square Solve D 
डी क्यू माइनस थ्री डी स्क्वायर डी डैश प्लस फोर डी डैश क्यू फोर डी डैश क्यू जेड इक्वल्स टू इट पर एक्स प्लस टू वाई ओके एंड also another question six questions today maximum for a number of questions solve okay d square plus 2 dd dash d square plus 2 d d dash plus d dash square plus d dash square d square plus 2 d d dash plus d dash square z equals to 2 cos y minus x sin y 2 cos y minus x sin y okay one two three four five six questions are for your attendance just solve it okay and you have to uh, reply me here very simple question right hand side because particular article is main na so here we can see m square plus 2 m plus 1 means m plus 1 whole square m plus 1 whole square means minus 1 minus 1 see it is very simple okay pi for pi d plus d dash whole square for this question for this question pi d plus d dash square this of this part now here this is not of any particular form so this is any function any function of x you can consider so we can use what rule general rule 1 upon d minus m d dash f x y equals to what integration of f x c minus m x d x and c tending to y plus m x this formula is used general formula okay here factor d plus d dash square that is we can write how one upon d is also one upon d plus d dash two times just we have to apply two times function is this complete function this is complete function you have to write here so first apply for this function the rule this that is in place of y you have to write what c minus mx C minus m x means here m means minus one c plus x okay c plus x clear and x as it is and integrate and finally we have to put what c equals to y plus m x means y plus x we get the value and again apply this formula. For this factor, so you can get PI. So C A plus PI is the required solution. Clear? Question six may be solved easily. Now general problem. Okay. Question five. Here, question five. Question five. Here you can see what is the M cube minus what will be the value? M cube minus three m square plus four four. This is the okay. M cube minus three m square plus four equals to zero. Clear? It can be solved. Just solve it. Okay. 
I think minus one is a root because here minus one, minus three, minus four, plus four, minus one is a root. So we will try to m square m plus one. One will be a factor because minus one is a root. Guessing method. So you have to do it. Then you can get the value minus one and some other two roots. So you can write. CF. Okay. Now PI. PI can be found by using the rule. We know u over x plus by and all my FDD dash. If we put a for d, b for d dash, and this is not equals to zero, then you can put the value and as it is. Right here, a one. B two here one here two so we can see here one minus three d one square d dash means two plus four d dash means two two cube eight thirty two plus minus six one not zero so you can use very simple. Use the formula. If not equal to zero, then just put the value, and as it is, right? You can get PI. So C A plus PI will be the required solution. Okay. Now question six uh, four. For hint, this question. This question is also simple. Okay. How can you? Here not equal to zero. Here equal to zero. I think. What m square minus 4m plus 4. That is what m minus 2 whole square equals to zero. Means what m equals to 2 and 2, 2 and 2. Clear? So we can write CF how 5y plus 2x plus x into 5 to y plus 2x. CF is simple. PI. PI can be find what 1 upon this. Means what d Minus 2d dash square, and you will get p x plus y. M minus 2 plus square d minus 2d dash. It means here a equal to 2 minus 2d. B equals to 1 zero. Here this value will be zero. You will put the value, so you cannot apply. In case of zero, we know formula what? B D minus A D dash power n one upon this equals to what? X power n upon n factorial B power n, and as it is function, it is what? Five uh, X plus B Y it is what? Test test function of X plus B Y. So this formula can be applied here. You can apply what? B equals to one, A equals to two, and N equals to two. So that is what x square upon two factorial into B means one, one power two. It is equal two x plus y. You can get the value PI. So C F plus PI is the required solution. Clear? Now for solving this question third. Okay, for this question, what will be the method? General method. This formula. Yeah. See if very simple. What m square minus m minus two. You can solve it. What will be the value? See if two minus one, two minus one. M equals to two minus one. Clear? Yeah? Two minus one. You can write. Okay. This C F. C F is very simple. Now P I. P I because right hand side this is any function of x. So you can apply this formula. For factor. What is the factor? One upon d minus two and d plus one. D dash. D dash. This is formula. 
clear d plus d dash and d minus 2d dash this so one by one one time for this factor one time for this factor you have to apply this formula for fx y is this clear general method so you can find pi so pi cf plus pi will be the solution now for question 2 for this question how can we solve for this question the same method try to solve it here dq means mq mq minus 7 m minus 6 equals to 0 you can find value what will be the value theoric equation are there so for finding root 1 minus 1 is a root of this minus 1 is a root of this because here minus 1 here minus minus plus 7 minus 6 equals to 0 that is minus 1 if m equal to minus 1 then is it minus 1 is 0 that is m plus 1 is a factor so we are writing like this for n cube and then we can do m equals to minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 you can get like this so you can write for this thing root cf for pi 1 upon this f dd dash that is dd dash means this clear factorization you see here like this and there are two parts this is a standard part a standard format it is our x plus by and this is also sin x plus by a standard part you know just like this f d square d d dash and d dash square f x y uh, sin a x plus b y is equals to what 1 upon f minus a square minus a b minus b a square sin sin cos cos a x plus b y there is a formula if this is not equal to g this is not equal to g this formula will be used so this uh, distribute this in this part and in this part and as apply a standard formula you can get result pi yeah. okay so c a plus pi is record solution now first question remaining one question paint is this what for b a square minus 4 d d dash plus d dash square this is factor ok use this formula clear this formula is used clear and you can also find 4m square minus 4m plus 1 equals to 0 here 2m square minus 2 into 2m to 0 so we can set m minus 1 by 2 square equals to 0 to m minus 1 m minus half a square I think m minus half a square that is what m a square minus 2 into m into half 
plus 1 by 4 equals to 0. That is 4m square minus 4m plus 1 equals to 0. Yes, m minus half of the square. This is you can write like this m square minus m plus 1 by 4 equals to 0. That is m square minus 2 into m into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square equals to 0. That is what m minus half square equals to 0. That is m equals to half and half. So, C m equals to what? 5 1 y plus half x plus x phi 2 y plus half x. Both are same root. C. Pi you can find. Pi can be 5. Pi, how can we find Pi? By using this formula. What will be the factor? I think this can be converted 1 upon d minus half d dash, also d minus half d dash. And yes, 16 log of x plus 2y. Just take it general case. Then for this factor, 16 is outside, 1 factor is here and 1 factor is here and function is this log of x plus 2y. We can use this formula d minus d is m equals to half, m equals to half. So, you can use this formula, one time for this factor, one time for this factor and you can get pi. So, ca plus pi is the required solution, okay. So, these six questions are for your attendance and you have to do it, okay. And reply me. Can take time because there are six questions. So take more time than general time. Okay. So reply to me all after solving. Okay.